Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Why, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. Aye. There she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados. But I haven't been able to confirm Dangers that. Behind us, Captain, it's a now, gunboat. now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. Try to make sure he doesn't. Captain! That just won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. Aye, Captain. Track that package and find Washington. Loose the Royals. Call in the Stunsills. Get them aloft. Doubts on sight. And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. Aye.
stop. I want to try. I'll enjoy this. What's this? A rifle? You there! Stay! Where you are? How can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Buster Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. Oh, my head. Oh. My sight's clear as day.
I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. Captain brought in more men. What's so special about this party? Who knows? All I've been told is that this is Lawrence Washington's residence. Isn't he a rich man? He got himself involved in politics, no? Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cults. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. Never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. God damn it. I'd better hurry. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. Is 
Is that a shit mortar? That's not sported! Be careful, Captain! Report! What's our status? Give me some... Lawrence Washington is dead. You look disappointed. The sickly way that man looked. He would have been dead in a month anyway. And two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. You find the object later. Cheer up, Shane. It's a rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? It's so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that, he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling.
Captain Cormac at the helm! Loose and He's struggling with the loss. The other. I know. But it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. The chasseur has a lead on the box. To meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shay. I had a long talk with Adam Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to check words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the wall like cathedrals and Interprets a strange language of the manuscript. The plate were of a banner in Latin. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of these work. has the most beautiful girls. I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. Dancing from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. No! No! We've been on top. See, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. Don't say. And then there's the maids I met in Lisbon. Destined for the convent they were. Dark-eyed and kindly dispositioned. If only I'd spoke Portuguese. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. Opinions like that give a man an entirely different reputation. Oh, 
nuts. Douse the gala to ruins! Loose and catch the wind! Fasten your sails! We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. Hand Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for the use of the curse box. Stunson! Stunson's head! Blew up gallants! To the floor! Blue. Douse all but mates! Douse all sail! Let go anchor! Sir, how fare ye? I'm your most days, should you return. 